Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm basically going to be showing you guys how to use color on your eyes for a natural daytime look. So I think I've pretty much showed you guys enough orange on my eyes like for a natural look. Like I've done a lot of orange, like that's like my go-to everyday makeup situation. But I haven't really shown you guys how to use a red or maybe a yellow or something like that. So today I'm going to go for a natural red makeup look. And before we get started with this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video if you do enjoy it and yeah let's just jump straight into this tutorial okay so starting right after the tutorial the palette i'm gonna use today is something i've got sent um i haven't actually tried it yet so if this red is not a good red then i'm so sorry but i'll just not recommend this palette but we're just gonna try it out because it's got a very nice red in it i'm just hoping it's gonna work so it's this makeup revolution roxaurus ride or die palette so it's this palette over here and the colors look very nice like i must say i'm really impressed with the colors i just hope that they are as good as what they look but one thing I've noticed with Makeup Revolution is the colors in the pan never turn out the same on your eyes. So like this color will be like really like brownie orange, but it will come out very like very orange on your eyes. So um, let's see how this works. And I'm going to start off by first doing my eyebrows. So I'm going to be going in with the Benefit Brow Styler. This is in the shade 4.5. And I'm just going to start by brushing up my eyebrows. You guys have seen me do this like a million times. And then I'm gonna go in and just define my brow with the pen side of this styler. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in like that. That looks really harsh, but I'm just gonna brush my brows upwards. I'm only gonna be using products that you guys can get in South Africa because I don't want to make you guys run around for products that you can't get. So yeah, you can definitely get benefit in South Africa, obviously. And then I'm going to dip into the powder side on this side. This is like a little powder angled brush. And I'm just going to brush this into the parts of my eyebrow that have less hair, just to make it look a little bit more full. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with some concealer just to carve out my brows. I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade 15. And I'm just going to carve my brows out with this and set my eyelids. So because this is an everyday look, I'm just gonna carve out my brows now and then do my foundation and then just do the lightest bit of red eyeshadow I'm not gonna bother to take another brush to carve out my brows because I feel like this is sharp enough to do the job So then I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush like so and I'm just gonna blend this out Okay, so then I'm going to go in with foundation. I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is in the shade Golden Beige. You guys, I love this foundation so much. I think this bottle is actually almost finished. So I'm just going to put this all over my face. This is actually slightly too light, I mean too dark for me at the moment because the sun has not been shining for a while. It's so hot, but the sun hasn't been out to actually go and tan. It's just been windy as hell. So I like to use a beauty blender or makeup sponge. This isn't a real beauty blender, but you guys know what I mean so I like to use one of these for an everyday look because it just makes your makeup look more flawless and just more like skin and that's what I kind of like to go for so I'm just gonna take a setting spray now because I'm too lazy to go wet my sponge in the bathroom so I'm just gonna spray it full of this and just drench it and then I'm gonna go in and just blend this out I will add more as I go but for now I'm just gonna keep what is on my face and try and blend this out as far as possible but i'm pretty sure this will cover my whole face this foundation is so beautiful with world it's everything i think it's actually the best drugstore brand i'm actually going to be right honest and say it. the best drugstore brand for almost everything and anything so now i'm just going to take my sponge guys i'm so sorry about the noise but i don't want to have to like stop for me now and wait i'm just going to take the sponge that i just blended my foundation out with and i'm just going to blend it over my eyes because i don't want this to be so white okay so there's nothing i can do about the noise right now i'm so sorry guys and then i'm just gonna go under my eyes as well because for an everyday look i don't like to add lots of concealer i like to make it look very natural and i feel like when i add lots of concealer it just looks caked and that's not the look i go for so i'm going to share with you guys my little tip and trick that i've been doing for like a little bit of a light contour for an everyday basis so this is the wet and wild photo focus stick foundation and i've got it in the shade almond it's a really dark 
shade like this and what I do is I take a foundation brush like a dense kabuki one like this and I literally just wipe it over this and then I blend this onto my face just to give my face like a bit of a warmth and then I also don't have to use bronzer to me contouring I actually don't really like contouring too much I prefer just warming up the face and that's why I use a more warm tone contour slash foundation stick I'm just gonna carry on doing that on all the points of my face where I would usually add bronzer or contour this just makes it look so much more natural and it doesn't separate the foundation as a contour stick usually would when you just smear it down your face yeah I'm just gonna carry on doing this and I'll just speed up the footage So that's my light contour done. Um, it looks very, it looks very flawless and natural. My face doesn't look cake. So that's what I like about contouring like that. So obviously this is gonna be a longer video than what this actually usually takes me. Like usually this is super quick. I just like throw everything on my face. I'm just gonna take my Essence Mattifying Compact Powder this one over here I'm just gonna take a fluffy eye brush and then I'm just gonna swirl it around in here set my eyelids set under my eyes and then I'll take a fluffy brush and then I'm just gonna set the rest of my face very lightly now I'm still gonna take my bronzer and just start off the look with some of an orange vibe because red is a warm toned color. So I just wanna stick with that vibe. And I'm just gonna take my Hoola bronzer, the same fluffy brush I used to set my eyes, and then just blend this into the crease. Just so that it gives your eyelids a warmer color just for that red to blend into. I would recommend getting yourself a very fluffy brush like this. This one was from Switch Beauty like quite a while ago. And it's so nice because it's just so big and fluffy and it blends everything out super seamlessly and then I'm just gonna take an under eye type of brush like this not sure if you guys can see that and then I'm just gonna put this underneath my eyes because I'm not gonna put red underneath my eyes because then it's gonna look funny so I'm gonna add like a darker brown underneath my eyes to kind of just blend my eyes into the under eye area so then I'm gonna take this Roxy Roxaurus palette I'm slightly shitting myself because if this is not a nice palette then it's such a waste I'm gonna go in with Ariel over here it's this red shade I'm slightly scared that it's gonna be a little bit too <laughs> pigmented I'm just gonna lightly tap into this just that I can see a little bit on the bottom of my brush and then tap it off you don't want to go overboard that is where you go wrong so then I'm just gonna take this red and just blend it super lightly on top of the orange As you can see, there's a light red color forming. And then I'm just gonna blend this onto my eyelid as well, like all the way down onto the lid, just so that it doesn't look funny that it's just in the crease. So this is all I'm actually gonna do on my eyes. I think that, just that, it's enough, but it's also a statement at the same time. Like, I don't know, for me, I'm not someone that wears an extreme amount of makeup on an everyday basis. Like, I'm really natural like this. On this side is what I would wear with some mascara, and then that is it. So this little bit of red is just such a cute little touch that you can use. And you can do this with literally any color. So I'm just gonna do the other side quickly. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that small brush that I used under my eyes, and I'm gonna go into this cola dark brown color over here I'm just gonna pop this underneath my eyes just to define my lower lash line hmm which mascara should I use so at the moment my favorite mascara is the essence you better work this will forever be my favorite I love this so much and then my second favorite is the benefit roller lash so I think because I haven't used the benefit roller lash on my channel I'm gonna go in with the benefit roller lash
Okay, so I just finished applying a few coats of the Roller Lash and wow, it looks so stunning. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlighter because I'm not gonna add any bronzer as I did mention. I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Precious Petals Mega Glow Highlighter and I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush like this. The Wet n Wild brush as well. These brushes are so good. If you can actually get your hands on them, go get them. I'm just gonna dip this in here and just make my skin glow. Because the more highlighter, just the better the look always, in my opinion. I'm just a highlighter gal. I love how I said just add a little bit of highlighter and I'm literally like glowing. So that's all the highlighter I'm going to add. And then I'm going to go in, because I don't want to make this like too dramatic. Because like I feel like this is enough, you know, like this is enough red on my eyes. And I don't want to make my lips dramatic. So I'm just going to go in with my NYX lip lingerie in the shade Push Up. And I'm just going to put this on my lips lightly overline them because lip filler is expensive. I will get lip filler, I promise you. You'll see in like a month or two. I'll have lip filler. And ain't nobody gonna tell me shit. Thanks. Bye. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of Benefit Gimme Brow just to brush my brows up because I like them to be fluffy. I'm gonna go in with the Catrice Fix and Care Lime Setting Spray in this beautiful bottle. I'm just gonna spray my face and then just push it into the skin. And I just wanna add a little bit of gloss to my lips. I'm just going in with my Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. This is honestly the best gloss product you'll ever get, and it also looks after your lips at the same time. So guys, that is the completed natural red eyeshadow. I think it's like kind of pink, but also red at the same time. Warm toned red look. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. This look is so easy to do. You guys have no idea. Like if I had to do this like quickly, it would have taken me like 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20 at the most. So yeah, I'm super happy with the way this turned out. I love this color on my lids. It just makes my eyes pop. So yeah, if you guys try out this look, definitely do tag me or send me a message on on Instagram with a photo of you trying out this look. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy these type of videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!